case you are wondering, how many times were the Nuggets on TNT this year? Seven. Eight. Eight, eight. eight times. Well, how many times were the Lakers times? on? I don't know. Seventeen. Wait, I got that. I, I guarantee it's more than No, I have it. I have it. Four. But 174. I guarantee, I guarantee huh. you, Chad. 174. You're right, Chuck. Auto One Trader, on. accelerate to the finals update. Um, oh. I'm in last place, man. Dude. Chuck is oh. back in the building, y'all. D'Angelo Russell. Back in Kurt the building. Day, brother. Chuck is back in yeah, the you're, building. You're in third. I know. Russell Westbrook was on fire. I was like 75 points behind. I knew I should hit the day, man, Lily, today. <laughs> <laughs> well, did, did D'Angelo Russell help you? I don't celebrate first round wins. Nets and Sixers. That's what I do. This was quick and painful. Oh, bully ball. They jumped out 14 to nothing and 30 to 6. Yeah, you can't get him that. Tell you what, game. man, when Joel Embiid takes his big old behind down on the box, this Look is a totally different team. Oh. It's a normal guy there in the half court. Embiid. You reach off, oh, spin off. Come on, man. Why are you going for that steal? So it's when they start switching little guys on the big in the post. Hey, like yeah, you know, that's steps that, into a three and knocks it down. That's that new NBA defense. They switch everything. Uh -huh. <laughs> you imagine us playing Shaq, they put them little ass dudes on us. <laughs> barbecue chicken. Uh, barbecue uh, chicken. J.J. Reddick for three. Reddick. J.J. Ridiculous. Uh, here he is again. Come on. J.J. Ridiculous. You gonna leave that dude wide open? In the corner, the easiest three in the oh, game. Oh, man, you can't I got you, Sean. J.J. Reddick open. J.J.'s on the Reddick. He's on the team for two easy. Make threes and get that grade point average. Safety to Simmons there by Jimmy <laughs> Butler. To get that grade point average. Get that point grade point average. We got a guy like that. Alex. Shout out to Justin Anderson. <laughs> That's a good one, Chuck. That's good. That's good. <laughs> Here's your guy. Here's your guy. You right? You right? <laughs> you right? <laughs> mm, good oh, nice. nice defense, bro. Call in plays. Yeah. 95-59 at that point. And then now, this was absolutely nothing. It, we don't have to show this. We don't even have to show this. It's a minute 50. Come on, man. Come on, me. Come on. this is nothing. Oh, man. So get off me. Come on. Listen. Come on. Listen. Come on. Yeah. Come on. When a ref can, can, can hold you back. When a ref can hold you back. You can hold When a ref can hold you back, you really don't want to fight. Yeah. 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 Immediately, they said, don't you guys go anywhere. We got another series to play. 122. Yeah. To 100 Philadelphia over Brooklyn. They take it in five. And uh, Joel Embiid, 25 and 14, he averaged in the series. He had 99 points in 97 minutes of play. Wow. And uh, here's what they were saying after the game We think we can win it all. Uh, obviously, it's going to take a lot. Uh, you got some great teams in the league. Uh, we're about to play one of them. We just got to take. Uh, one game at a time, um, but we understand that we got all the talent we need, uh, especially uh, to win it all. We have a team that is slowly coming together. Like they don't have the luxury of lots of games and lots of context to share upon. And so, you know, you have Joe, you don't. You have Jimmy Butler, you don't. These guys have been great on trying to form a team. And so this is good. Beating Brooklyn, advancing to the second round, this is good. So when you say lofty goals versus reaching the second round, we have more to do. <laughs> He's silly, man. 42 and 40 season for the Brooklyn Nets. Had a hell of a season. They really did. Played hard. Play hard. Played smart. Great job by Coach Atkinson. You see it. Really happy for D'Angelo Russell. Made the all-star team uh, after all the snitching in L.A. Oh, and as you have said, yeah, there. and as you have said, an attractive destination, free agent wise. Uh, very, uh, very, up, very effective. No who made a name for themselves, self kidding? <laughs> what is that? What a dollar. And <laughs> Lillard feeding OKC a 50 burger. Oh my goodness. And needed it all. <laughs> Man, <laughs> alive. That's all you can say, D Wade. <laughs> Man, alive. Man. Oh, playoff basketball and the intensity there and the dramatics and having the ball in your hands with a game on the line. And Pat Riley once told me in basketball, he says, there's winning and there's misery. He says, you never feel so alive in that moment. Mm. Ball goes through the net, clock goes to zeros, mm. and uh, the Blazers win. It's just amazing stuff. Well, right. yeah. listen, amazing. Uh, uh, listen, first of all, I want to take my hand off to Russell Westbrook and Paul George. These boys competed. And they needed all 50. He got him. <laughs> he got him. <laughs> yes, he did.
Just saw a couple they of there. Out trying to put this thing on ice. More or less the same. <laughs> <laughs> he had less. He had 19 in the first quarter. Mm. Uh, and he had 34 in the first half. He had a complete game, too. Inside, outside, penetrate, long and, range. And with McCollum saddled with foul trouble early, his running mate, that Miller, guy, man, just he took those control. Those are tough shots right there. I don't hear no pull, Chuck. No, 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 no. That's only reserved for Clay. Okay, my bad. Hey, look, I'm going to call him Clay. I'm going to call him Clay. Well, I'm going to tell you this. You must stop putting him in that category. Okay. Of three point shooters. That oh, one won't go, but there's so. Big Ennis Canter, yeah. 60 to 57. It was 61 to 60 at the half. Portland. Look at this, man. No way. That's the same shot. Yeah. Ooh. Same shot. Oh. Well, you, but, but, you know, but you got to take your hat off to OKC, man. They really competed. Yeah, they got to be a little smarter than us. Yeah, I, I would. I would. No, they got to be a lot smarter, not a little smarter. Yeah, I would. A agree. lot smarter. Between turnovers and silly fouls, that's what cost them. Blazers on the run here, and Al Farouk Aminu with the finish, 79-75. Oh, you know what? And let me tell you something. You thought at this point this game was over when they went up 8-9 points. Yeah, 14-2 to two that runs. That was their biggest lead. Yeah. But Russ was oh, doing Russ. his thing. Oh, get off me, little fella. What do we 15-2 Thunder run. What an answer. Okay, Russie. Westbrook again. Dennis Schroeder hit a couple of big buckets. This, two. this one, everybody thought it like, man, maybe it might be over. But, but, but you know, I think one more because Russ just passed yeah. right here. Like, like, maybe it's well. over. Yeah, Jeremy I mean, Grant three. will finish here. So this was a 30 to six Thunder run. Here's Schroeder again Schroeder. stepping back. You, you got 105 to 90 you got with 740 to go. You got to win that. Got to win that. You got to win that game. And you got to get the ball out of his hand. Some type of way the ball cannot be in his hands. Ask uh, Westbrook with the answer right away, and then Paul George, who had 36. Oh, what a move, man. You're up eight with four minutes to go. Come on, man. CJ McCollum. This is a big floater here, too. Off the glass. And then, and this then another one. Yeah. 21 to 6 Portland run. What's the answer for OKC in a tie game? It's uh, Paul George. Yep. He was. But now you got to play some defense. Nah, this guy, no, this, you can't give up a layup. No, no anyway. Right. 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 Really, right. you, you can't give up a right. layup. Right. 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 No shot blockers. Lou, who's a shot blocker? Well, this is game time. Uh, game 37. Time. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Same day, game time. It's game, from game time. But, but there is no shot blocker. That's just a hell of a shot right there. You just shake this guy's hand if you make that shot. Shake his hand. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, bye just, bye. Maybe, I don't, I don't care how many times you watch it, you still can't believe it. 118 to 150. Fitty piece. Fitty piece. Man. Portland Trailblazers over the Oklahoma close City out. Thunder. Ten for they close it out. Uh, tenth career playoff triple double for Westbrook and 36 for George in a losing effort. Uh, the 34 in the first half for Lillard, 16 in the second half. Oh, well, a lot of people are going to blame Russell, but man. That's right. I, Shaq, I know Shaq got it right. right. So got yeah, a lot yeah, of people are going to blame Russ. Shaq, Shaq had said three things could possibly happen after that big first half. He could get more, he could get less, or he could get the same. Well, you know, and I just want to say this. You know, a lot of people criticize oh, Russell Westbrook. And I'm going to just say this. He can play on my team anytime. Uh, he's not perfect. Uh, I, what, what would you say that today that he did incorrectly? I'm not sure if I saw anything today. I thought that he was not aggressive in the beginning, mm -hmm. and I thought they uh, they could have number one, there was they didn't use the shot clock down the stretch, and there was three fouls they committed. Did they have, or him? He committed two of them. Okay. Because but, yeah, I mean down the stretch, I was making notes too. Two ten to play. George misses. Two free throws. That then, was big. The, then an offensive foul after that to turn it over. And then another big. turnover yeah. with about a minute and 20 seconds to go. And it, um, yeah, the, the mental mistake. But you know what? They gave all they had, man, and you got to respect that. Here's uh, Billy Donovan after the loss. I thought, um, I thought late in the game, I'm anxious to see some of them. Um, you know, I thought Russell's charge was a, was, was a big play in the game. Uh, I thought Ferguson's over the back foul. That was another big play. We had another couple fouls. We put him to the free throw line. Um, you know, I don't know if those calls were, were accurate or not. Well, I'm, see, I'm not, I don't have any opinion on it. They, just, they were tough calls that could have 
change momentum a little bit. I know Paul had a couple free throws we could have knocked down, so we kind of struggled to put, just keep continue to put some points on the board. We gave them some free throws. Harkless shot it well from the free throw line, and then obviously Lillard had a, a, a great game from from start to finish. So you know, our guys battled and competed, and um, you know just weren't able to close the game out. Billy, with the way you all defended with Jeremy kind of in the pick and rolls, Adams on, on Harkless, they didn't get rolls to the rim and, and catch and shoots, kind of betting that Lillard wasn't going to be able to shoot the way that he did. Was that sort of the, the strategy that, that you tried to go to? And did you feel like it had a chance to work? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure I understood what, what, in terms of what part. I, I guess, did you feel like Lillard might run out of gas having to go oh, one um, entire game? You know, obviously he played the whole first half. Um, I probably would have done the same thing with Paul, you know, had he not picked up fouls. Um, you know, we, I thought we gave a really, really good effort, but he was really, um, he made some tough shots. I mean, you got to give him credit. I mean, I think at the night he had, uh, and the shots that he made, um, epitomized the last shot of the game. Those are kind of some of the shots he made throughout the first half. Um, I thought some of them were really well defended. I thought we worked hard. We tried to trap him some. Uh, sometimes he was able to kind of get through it and get downhill. I thought we came over and pulled across and help. Um, you know, I know McCollum never really got into the flow of the game uh, with the foul trouble, but I thought, you know, that last five minutes, he kind of stepped up and made some big shots for them as well. You know, in critical times like elbow, mid-range, pull-up jumpers off the dribble, well guarded. Um, and, um, you know, that obviously uh, kind of got them on their run. For the Thunder, 12 straight losses on the road in the postseason. Last road game that's they won in the post was that's game impossible. one. Game one at Golden State in the Western Conference Finals in 16. That's they won, impossible. They won that game and they've lost the next oh, okay. 12 on the road. No, so that, I'm just saying. In the like, postseason. To Not as painful as this one. To, for, for that team. Yeah, for that team. For to lose 12 straight games, uh, that's the, that they got too much talent. They got too much talent. Yeah, and, that, and, 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 and talent. 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 No, 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 no. no, no, no Seriously, Shaq, they got you. Come on, twelve time. straight games. You can't lose twelve straight games. Not with Russell Westbrook and you know, Paul George, Stephen the, Adams. The guys that have, well, twelve would be more than this this year. But the guys that have gone through that that system, they that are, is a remarkable stat. They have four and thirteen since Durant left. Well, a lot of uh, you're not, no, but, we, uh, but I'm saying they still got enough not to lose twelve straight games. I'd rather have two talented players and nine, ten, eleven smart guys. That's all I'm saying. How about Billy Donovan? Uh, how are you uh, feeling if you are Billy Donovan oh, right sick. now? And, and sick. Uh, well, obviously sick about the game. Looking at the future of the Oklahoma City Thunder with Billy Donovan. Well, he's not going anywhere, I don't think. Uh, they, they need to develop an identity. I think it's time to move Russ to the two. Because I think he's too aggressive offensively. You play Schroeder and, and Westbrook together all the time? Yes. Because I think he's so good and aggressive. He's one of those guys who can get his shot all the time. It goes back to what we were saying the other day. When you have an advantage, sometimes you got to take a step back. When I played with certain guys, I could get a shot every time. But I said to myself, like Shaq could get a shot every time. But sometimes he had to get a shot for Derek Fisher. Devin George, Rick Fox, guys who can't get their own shot. So I think that Russell has to take a step back. And I said this today on PTI. He's always driving at 100 miles an hour. He should drive at 55, sometimes raise to 70. You don't drive your car at 100 all the time. And that's, that's the only weakness I see. He's always going 100% speed all the time. I, I, would, I would say that, you know, I understand your point, but I don't know if that is the solution. Meaning, when a game is on the line, I wouldn't want to have, I would rather have Russell Westbrook with the basketball up top than, than Schroeder. It's just, I would rather have that. Because I know that, one, they're not going to trap him. Two, he's physical enough to take the contact. Three, he will get us something. But you just have to be have a strong enough personality to make him do something other than Sometimes he might not see. And then, see you have to be his, so his, his, his second pair, pair of eyes. Well, the, maybe the same way that Phil was for Kobe, to be his second pair of eyes, and he has to trust that. You know, coaches get the blame for a lot, but it's not.